Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. In Magic the Gathering Arena, let's have a look at an artisan match. Uh, this is part of the uh, midweek magic. I guess this is a, a weekly thing. They offer uh, different modes that are free to join, and then you get like a card or two if you win. And then uh, artisan, you can only use uh, common or uncommon cards, and then uh, basic lands. So I'm taking my uh, black red sacrifice deck and uh, seeing how it can work uh, without rare cards, without mythic rare. And then also I can kind of show off this deck and then talk about what is going to go missing uh, once we go to the uh, 2022 standard. Alright, but I like uh, lots of little guys. I like guys with a death touch, so that's why we got the, uh, the typhoid rats out. Okay, next let's put out Sanitarium Skeleton. That's one of my favorite cards in the game. Uh, you can spend some mana to get it back from your graveyard, and then you can cast it again, and you can do that infinite times until he is uh, exiled. <laughs> and then I'm going to put out uh, Witch's Oven, which is another one of my favorite cards. Uh, that is a uh, one-cost artifact. Uh, you can tap it at any time. You can sacrifice a creature and get food. And I like it for the instant sacrifice effect uh, that is free. Unfortunately, that is going to be lost uh, in the move to 2022. So I need to find uh, replacements uh, for that, kind of instant sacrifice effects, if I want to keep this deck going. Alright, let's put down a Slaughter Priest of Mogus. He is a creature that can insta-sacrifice somebody, uh, but he will be lost as well going to 2022. And then not using rares or uh, mythic rares in this deck, I discovered that I lost a lot of the uh, the creatures that are counter creators, uh, like uh, Shepherd of Nightmares or whatever it was. Whenever one of your guys dies, he'll create a 1-1 uh, flying version of that. And then like rats, all of the, uh, the rat uh, generators are all rares or better. Okay, but there is a Relic Vial. That is another artifact with a uh, instant sacrifice effect. Uh, but that is one of the uh, that is in one of the newer sets, so I'll be able to carry that over into 2022. At worst, I can just use four of those. <laughs> Unfortunately, it costs two to activate the effect, uh, while Witch's Oven costs zero. But uh, yeah, I do have some options if I want to continue with this deck. And also, I'm trying to use more Learn and then Lesson cards, so that's why I have that uh, Fire Learn card in my hand. I've been staying away from uh, sideboards up to now, because it's just another level of complication that I wasn't ready to deal with, but I think for Lessons and Learning, I can uh, attempt that here. Okay, so my Rat is going to be targeted by an effect. We'll sacrifice it instead and we will draw a card from the Relic Vial. Uh, if I didn't have the, uh, the mana available, I would have used the uh, Witch's Oven, gotten some food instead. And then uh, you can sacrifice uh, food tokens in order to gain life. Uh, there are other cards that uh, get benefits from using food or like having food, uh, but I don't have any of those in this deck, so we'll just uh, ignore that. Just uh, use it for the life. Okay, but I sacrifice a guy uh, the uh, the Mogus guy, he will get a buff from uh, sacrificing. Uh, opponent will use a buff on their own character, uh, so I can no longer kill them. So instead, let's sacrifice my guy. Let's create some food. <laughs> and then, yeah, those artifacts, they tap when they sacrifice somebody, so I can't use it uh, the rest of the turn. Which is why it's nice to have uh, multiple of those artifacts out to sacrifice multiple guys. Okay, we'll put out uh, Boot Nipper for more uh, Death Touch. Always want to try to have some of that out. Okay, we'll pass my turn. 
Griffin Airy. That's one of the uh, less favorite enchantments I like to go against. <laughs> And then I've been playing uh, this deck a lot lately, but I picked this fight because I feel like it uh, demonstrates everything that this uh, deck is capable of doing. Okay, we'll put out first day of class. Anybody else that I cast this turn will get a buff, and then it'll help me learn. So then I can look at my lesson cards, which are in the uh, sideboard. And I just basically just put everything in there, because I don't have a lot of them. <laughs> uh, but lands. I haven't gotten those in a couple turns, so we'll grab Environmental Sciences. And then we'll cast the uh, Goblin Arsonist. He will get a buff, and then haste from that uh, first day of class card that I cast earlier. But we're not going to attack. <laughs> Yeah, that card, it's it's nice if I get the buff and I get to use it, but it, really it's there to learn in order to grab a card that I need. And none of the lesson cards are amazing. Uh, probably, you know, it's a new mechanic in Magic, so they want to kind of test it out. And if they put cards that were too powerful uh, as lessons, maybe they would be uh, abused, or maybe they would get out of hand. All right, but finally, let's cast Environmental Sciences. We will grab a regular old land card. And no attacks again. I'm waiting for him to attack with his 7-7 seven, seven so I can block with my Death Touch guy and then take him down. <laughs> Okay, lots of buffs there. And one attack. Who should we block with? I guess we can block with the Arsonist. We will not sacrifice him. He'll do the damage to the Venerable Knight. And then do one damage to whomever. We'll do the um, other player. Okay, we got seven mana. I can now cast the uh, Hellkite Punisher, so let's do that. That's a pretty big creature for a deck with no rares, right? <laughs> Alright, I don't have any mana, so I can't use the Relic Vial, but I can still use the Witch's Oven. Okay, he will attack with his 8-8. I guess he'll get a random buff. Maybe he's hoping for indestructible. Uh, but let's block with my uh, sanatorium skeleton. And then we'll put him in the oven. Make some food. I don't know how. He doesn't have any flesh on him. <laughs> and that will save my boot nipper for another day. All right, lots of leftover mana. Put out the uh, Careless Celebrant. I think that's how you say that. Hard C. And we can attack with the Hellkite. And then let's buff his attack a little bit. He's kind of a uh, modern day uh, Shivan Dragon. <laughs> Okay, and down to 10 life, that's fine. Oop, Sarah Angel, speaking of classic cards. All right, attacking again. Oh, random buff picks up flying, so I can't block him anymore. Uh, 
Uh, but we can block the uh, the guy on the ground. He does have first strike, so I'm not going to do any damage to him. So we can sacrifice the character. We'll use a deadly dispute. Sacrifice creature, draw two cards, create a treasure token. Lots of good stuff there. And then when Careless Kellebrand dies, I can do two damage to any creature or planeswalker. I would have targeted the player, but I can't select them with that effect. Okay, but we got some food, we got some treasure. Alright, we got one of my best cards, Annex. He is a token generator that is uncommon, so he's pretty good. Uh, him too, unfortunately, is going to be cycled out. <laughs> uh, Sanitarium Skeleton is still going to be available, though. Uh, but Annex, anytime one of my non-token creatures dies, he will create a token creature, so... Uh, I can get uh, nice effects sacrificing both in and out with him, so... Okay, again, we'll attack with the Hellkite, take down the Sarah Angel. Okay, random buff he picks up is First Strike. So my Bootnipper won't do the Death Touch on the guy. But no big deal. Okay, we'll block with the Sanitarium Skeleton. We'll sacrifice him with the Relic Vial. Draw a card, prevent that damage. And then Sanitarium Skeleton Dying will activate Annex and we'll get a uh, Minotaur, or whatever that is, Seder, Seder token. And then my opponent will quit. <laughs> okay, so that is my uh, Black Red Sacrifice deck. I'm pretty happy with it, almost no matter what the format. I haven't really tried it in 2022 yet, however, so I'll have to do that next, maybe. Okay, that'll do it for this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again. Take care.